What do you think you need to create more of what you want in life? It's a big question. Hello, I'm Steve McCabe, cognitive hypnotherapist, and I've got a very short five ideas for you to consider um, to answer that question. So first of all is knowing what you do want. Some people find it easy to describe what they don't want, uh, but what about what you do want? What you really want to create in your life? Um, in other words, are you really trying to put up with things that you don't want at the moment, things that don't serve you? That's number one. Number two, we're, in, we're either in a state of growth or protection. Um, briefly, protection is very much around staying in a, in a place of comfort, security and safety without really stretching yourself, ultimately perhaps not giving you opportunity to try something new. Whereas growth is, as, as it sounds, very much around supporting you to be the best version of you possible. Um, anything that can achieve that would be growth. So it, ultimately it's a choice between the two. And number three is very much around how do you set unrealistic goals to achieve that? So if you've chosen to be in a state of growth, Setting unrealistic goals might sound a bit counterintuitive. Why on earth would you want to set unrealistic goals? Surely they're doomed to fail. Well, being in growth, you do need to push yourself outside of that uh, circle of comfort, almost into that circle of discomfort. And that's where setting yourself some unrealistic goals, some which are going to be uh, achievable, but with a stretch. Um, and you can achieve far more than you currently believe, I would imagine, just like the rest of us. Number four is all around feeling the fear. So fear is something to be um, avoided at all costs in many people's eyes. But without fear, you really don't achieve what you could achieve. Um, anything that moves you away from what you're regularly doing um, out of habit, uh, anything that's sustaining you day to day, is likely to be a safe place but outside of that the, the dreaded comfort zone is is a place of fear for many people but you've got innate resources and resources that are only uh, unique to yourself you've got talents and skills that are probably being underused at this time um, and really moving on to the final point trusting your inner wisdom not your thinking so thinking is something that we all do without a second thought um, if i was to ask you not to think of a pink elephant you could not not think of a pink elephant without thinking of it so thoughts are very much part and parcel of everybody and every day um, you cannot not think but trusting your inner wisdom listen to your gut and heart more than your head it's a very warm friday i'm going to leave you on that note very short uh, video blog today wishing you well keep safe and enjoy the weekend and hope to catch up with you soon hope that's useful bye for now